Good morning and welcome back to Reignite Your Soul. Happy Friday. I am so pumped up to be back here with you again. Um, per usual, my name is Laura Plahuda and I am your host on this podcast where we are making giving a shit cool again. So Fridays on the podcast are from here on forward. They are going to be epic, inspiring interviews. We're going to have guests on this podcast who are normal people just like you and I, but they chose to create an epic legacy for themselves. They wanted to make an impact and we're going to be hearing all about their story, where they came from, how they kind of got started on their journey, what was it that propelled them to this greatness, and what their vision is for the future. So I am super excited for that. We have our very first guest next week, next Friday, with Emily Noiseau. And she is such a beautiful soul. And she was actually one of the huge, massive reasons why I was able to get started on my journey. So I'm super excited for her to be on here and for you guys to be able to learn from her as well. And she is so freaking fun. Love her so much. So today, um, we're going to be chatting a little bit about taking responsibility, radical responsibility, right? We always talk about this. And I don't know about you guys, but do you find yourself sometimes that you're playing that blame game? When it comes to certain situations in your life, maybe it's with other people, maybe it's um, with your work environment. And a lot of the time, like if we have somebody that does something that isn't so nice to us, I know it's very easy for our ego to want to pop out and want to show them what it feels like to go through that as well, right? Like something as simple as you're like walking um, into work and somebody doesn't hold the door open for you. You're like, oh, wow, thank you so much. Like, it literally takes two seconds. It's normal for you to hold the door open for the next person coming in. But for that person, they've obviously got something going on in their head. They're not thinking at the time. So then next time you go to go through the door, you may have that thought of if the same person's behind you, oh, I'm going to just close the door on their face so that they see what it feels like. Right? How many times have we done that? And that's just a simple situation. But there's so many times when people do things to us. And we naturally want to retaliate or we naturally want to give them a taste of their own medicine to say. And that is just pure ego, ego alert, right? You need to lock that bitch away. As soon as you are going from love to fear or hatred, you need to check in with yourself because we are all about love and the more that we give to the world with love, the more the world is going to become a better place for everybody. And we all need to take this ownership for our own lives and start making a difference and start giving a shit and making it freaking cool again. And with that being said, everything in life is energy, right? So if we're looking at what somebody else is doing, we obviously cannot change. Like we, That's just... That's out of our control. It's an external thing. We cannot change what somebody else is thinking or the actions that they take. But what we can change is what we do. Our thoughts, our actions, and the energy that we are choosing to put out to the world. So I want you to think about all of these things. Like if you think about the tribe of people that you have currently in your life, are they the energy, the vibe that you want to attract? And this doesn't just go for friendship. This goes for relationships. This goes through everything in your life. Everything is energy. So if you are wanting more love in your life, you've got to give more love. You've got to show people more love because you're teaching people what it's like to do that. And they're going to feel so amazing. And they're then going to want to reciprocate that to other people. If you want people to be grateful for you, you've got to be freaking 10 times as grateful for other people. Start showing your gratitude for people. Start telling people how grateful you are for them. And then that's going to come full circle back to you. And people are going to start sharing their gratitude with you and being grateful for you. And you're going to have better humans in your life. If you want people to be more generous, then show generosity. Like you have to be the change that you want to see in the world. That quote is like so on point. It's like insane. I love it. So if you want to in friggin have people be inspired by you, you're looking around, you're seeing other people like they're so inspiring. They're so amazing. You're like, wow, that's so awesome. You have it inside of you too. So go out and inspire people. Do things that are going to inspire people. 
Because then they're going to start inspiring people too. It's a ripple effect. If you want people to empower you, go out and empower people. If you want people to believe in you, go out and believe in people. Whatever you do, start sharing more of these amazing qualities that you want in your life. Those amazing qualities that you possess, start sharing them with the world. Be bold in sharing them. And this can be hard because you know what? We live in an environment in a society where if you are one of those happy, positive people, you're a freak. People are like, what the hell's wrong with this person? Like, this must be fake. Like, what the heck? Like, you can't be this happy. And obviously, you're not happy all the time like that. Like, there's ups and downs. It's life. You're a human being. But it's about being bold and putting that energy out there to the world and releasing that fear of judgment. Removing your fear of judgment goggles and putting on your why the fuck not me goggles. And be bold and share this with the world because it all comes down to you individually. Together with all of the collective yous, we can change the world. But it all starts with you individually. Your vibe is going to attract your tribe. So become that person that you want to surround yourself with. And hire, fire, and promote yourself and others accordingly. Like, think about yourself. What characteristics do you want? And sometimes it's easier if you think about what kind of characteristics in other people do you want to surround yourself with? Because we can, it's so it's a lot easier for us to say, like, well, I want friends that are going to care for me. I want friends that are going to check in on me. Friends that, like, genuinely just care about me. They want to do fun things. They, um... They, whatever, like whatever your list of things that you want other people to do to you, it's going to be a lot easier for you to create that list for yourself. And then you can also take it from that list and then apply it to yourself and ask yourself with that honesty and say, am I these things? Am I kind to other people all the time? I'm sure you're on bad days, but for the majority of the time, are you kind to people? Do you love on people? Do you share that with people? Are you grateful for people? Are you generous? Are you inspiring? Are you empowering? Are you believing in other people? And have that complete honesty with yourself to check in and see if you are those things. Because it's okay if you're not those things right now. Because the first thing is, is that you're realizing it. And understanding that you can work to become anything that you choose. Like epigenetics is fucking insane. By changing your thoughts, you can change your DNA, your characteristics, everything about yourself. Okay? You can. You just have to be willing. Are you willing to remove some things out of your current life to make room to practice these things? Because it's not going to just happen by just thinking about it. Like you need to take the actions, right? Like is going to attract like. So... I want to challenge you guys to make a list of that person, that ideal person that you would love to become. Make that list and start working every day toward being this person. Because the more that we choose to become this epic version of ourselves, the more we're going to get everybody else around us to start stepping up their game as well. And as a collective, we're going to start increasing world consciousness, increasing the love that's in this world, increasing the beauty that everyone sees. And it's literally going to be such an epic place to live. And I'm so freaking excited for it. But just know that I love you just the way that you are. You're perfect in where you're meant to be on your journey right now. But I also believe in you that I know that you have more in you. You've got this burning fire within your soul and that you're totally capable of it. So with that being said, I hope you have the most legendary freaking weekend, guys. I am so, so, so fired up for life right now, and I hope you are too. And just know that it's safe to open up your heart, and it's safe to open up your mind, and just be bold in your pursuit of what is lighting you up right now, and become that person that you want to attract in the world. And um, you freaking got this. I believe in you. I will chat with you guys later. Bye, guys.